Our uh, principal thought it was a crab and thought its claws would go here. And it wasn't really real. And then this backbone of a bird, which would probably be. And this, because this leg is hollow, it's the upper leg of a bird. And not any bird, but a micro raptor because of its teeth. No other bird in Australia has teeth. Here is a skull of a water dragon or a spinal cord. Here is the jaws of a mud skipper that I found out from a friend at school. And also it came from my brain. Now here's a very small fish skeleton. But you can see the blue tongue wants to eat a claw. The worst thing is it would eat one of these. If you see that, it will eat your bones. But then, this is a skull from, probably from a kangaroo because it has teeth up here, no teeth, then teeth down here. Okay, I'm not doing anything for things. Here is the upper leg of a cow, and here's the upper leg of a pelican. Much bigger and different. Here's the backbone of the cow. Its spinal cord was going right through this hole. And then it connect and the spinal cord connects up to the head so the body can have, can have the ability to move. Then here is the jaws of the tiger shark. It could eat a children's head. And look at these teeth. They're so razor sharp. It could cut through a finger. And now look at these sets of teeth. Back in here, it has eight teeth of its lifetime. And you can see that here, it's about to have another tooth. The teeth pop up so quick that it only happens in one day. So if that shark was still alive, these two teeth and this tooth would have popped up today. And in the lifetime of the shark, it's wings. Oh. <laughs> Finished right?